So let's do that with, uh, with our acoustics. Let's say we want one fader to control both these acoustic uh, tracks here. So I'm going to go up to, um, to track, and I'm going to create a new, go to stereo and aux, tra uh, aux input, just like we did before. It'll create a, a new aux input, and I'm going to call this one I'm going to double click that name and I'm going to call this one Acoustics. Hit enter. Now, I want I want this fader to control both of these both of these acoustics. So, the way we do this is again with the buses, the internal buses inside of Pro Tools. Uh, I'm going to set this input here of this new aux track uh, I've created, this new aux input I'll set it to bus 3 and 4. Bus 1 and 2, of course, is being used for that reverb. Bus 3 and 4. So now that input is set on bus 3 and 4. And now, for the output of both the acoustic tracks, I'm going to, instead of sending them to analog 1 and 2, which is what's going to the speakers, I'm going to send them to bus 3 and 4. Both of them. There's one. There's the other one. So now, as you can see uh, on this acoustic, these two acoustic tracks, their output is now bus 3 and 4 instead of analog 1 and 2. So now, uh, if I hit play, it's going to sound the same, but uh, when, I, when I turn up and down this acoustics track, it's going to affect the volume of those acoustics. So now I can, you know, just like with a master track, I can, uh, with this acoustics track, I can, I can put a reverb, or I, I can put an EQ on there, or a limiter, or uh, whatever kind of plug-in, and that's going to apply to everything that's going into it, which right now is just those two acoustic tracks. So as you can see, it's really, um, really versatile, and there's a lot of ways you can, uh, you, can, uh, you can route stuff. A lot of times I'll create two aux tracks for uh, for my drums, I'll I'll have I'll have all of my drums going to one aux track that has no plugins on it, and one aux track that is just smashed with a limiter and really EQ'd, and I'll blend between those two aux tracks, and that's a really cool way of getting a uh, a, a good uh, compression effect where you can have one one aux track, one fader that's controlling the dry, and one that's controlling the the affected, and you can do that all through the sends and, uh, and uh, the aux inputs inside a Pro, Pro Tool. So as you can see, it's really uh, uh, powerful and you can get really detailed uh, if you want to. So have fun with that and just experiment with, uh, with, with routing things with the buses uh, that way. And then in the next section, um, we're going to talk about finishing up your song and bouncing it. And, you know, um, uh, you know, just just uh, w when you have everything when you have everything mixed down, uh, bouncing it down and creating a, a, a master stereo audio file.